They could be relaxing on a warm beach somewhere, but instead, these North Carolina college students are hammering, drilling, and assembling PVC pipe at the offices of Gray's Reef National Marine Sanctuary. We're here to learn more about underwater technology. We're having a blast doing it. This is by far one of the most exciting things I've ever done. So what exactly are these contraptions the students are constructing? Well, they're props to be used in an underwater robotics competition the sanctuary hosts every April. These are simulated scientific instruments. There's a J that usually that's going to be popped in yeah, here. Yeah, like a hook right here. And they're going to have to pull it out and lift this up to the top. Our volunteer coordinator, Jody Patterson, would normally spend several weeks building the props. So needless to say, Jody is grateful for all this help. These guys are awesome. I'm really overwhelmed at the amount of work that they've gotten done uh, in just a couple of days' time. The annual robotics competition will take place at the Chatham County Aquatic Center with teams from middle schools throughout the region competing to see whose robot can do the best job handling various tasks. I'm Michael Jordan reporting from Gray's Reef, your National Marine Sanctuary. Yes. There you go. Woo -hoo. That's, that's